Yo, welcome back. I actually just realized that I say that in every video. Welcome back. What if it's the first video you're watching? Interesting. Maybe it's time for a change up. Or maybe I'll just make them think that they've watched me before. They'll be like, have, you know what? Maybe I have seen this guy. Anyway, today we're drafting. Shocker. We can only take players that were taken in the first round. So let's go ahead, randomize our team. We get the Toronto Maple Laughs. Get out of here, owner. Get out of here, head coach. I got an ego. I don't want to be told what to do. I'm going to say that we get pick number... 17. I'm trying to just change it up here because I haven't gotten it right in a long time. Well, Connor McDavid was certainly taken in the first round. I'll tell you that for free. I can't believe he was drafted in 2015. That's crazy. Also, 70 discipline. Does he take a lot of penalties? I feel like he doesn't. Mark Stone taken in the sixth round. He is ineligible. I just realized goalies could be tough. I might actually want to just take a goalie now. Jakey O could be the best option for us. Oh, there's a few. Spencer Knight, Varlamov. So we could delay it maybe another... Mm, but do I want to? Because I have back-to-back -back picks here. I'm going to go with Ottinger, I think. And... Yeah, that's our best bet. I want to try and get some wingers for McDusty. But I'm not really having a whole lot of luck. Gensel and Terry are no, not first round. Vladimir Tarasenko, however. Ooh, he's a sniper too. Him and McDavid could go off. Latang was taken in the third round. Patrick was taken 22nd overall. I could have two snipers playing with McDavid, but I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to pick up a defenseman. Seth Jones? Fourth overall? Making a lot, but... Oh, no. Darnie, they both have four abilities. I feel like I've had this conundrum before. Seth Jones has 83 discipline, and Nurse has 75. What abilities do they have? Okay... I think I'm going to go with Seth Jones. He is making a little bit more, but the medium elite is kind of tempting, I can't lie. Jared Spurgeon taken in the sixth round. You know what? Call me crazy. We're going to have to do some budgeting. I'm taking Nurse as well. They can play together. David Perron could be the first line left winger. Two-way forward. It kind of checks out because then we have playmaker sniper two-way. And he was taken 26th overall. Let's get it done. I feel like this is going to be harder than I thought it was. I could take Cam Fowler, really stock up defensively, but 6.5, you know. Andre Burakovsky would be a great way to start off the second line. 85 overall sniper, I believe? Yeah. I actually don't mind Brent Burns at 5.2. Went 20th overall, so I will be beefing up our defensive core even more with that pick. Horacek does have three abilities, but... We only have $24 million. I can't. I literally cannot. Oh, no, guys. We're going to stink. Thank you, Ryan Hartman. $1.7 million. Wenberg could be our second line center. 4.5 isn't cheap, but I think we got to pull the trigger on this one. We could pair the vets together, have Suter playing with Brent Burns, and that way we'd have a two-way defender and an offensive defenseman. The chemistry might not work between them, but I... Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so now we have... Our first two lines and our first two defensive pairs. Should I take a backup goalie now and just kind of get it out of the way? Who was taken in the first round here? We have Jonathan Bernier in 2006. We might not have any other choices. Oh, there we go. Malcolm Subban. Maybe. And the thing is, I really don't have to take him now, but I just feel like I should. Yeah, the salary is too good to turn down. 79 overall. Backing up Jake Yo. We probably won't get a lot of starts, but... Phil the Thrill taking fifth overall. Get on the team, Phil. Fifth overall, Luke Shen. Great defenseman to have on that final pair. I feel like he fits into most of the draft stipulations. Eric Howla, cheeky little seventh rounder. We only have $11 million of cap left. Oh, no. Lars Eller, first round pick. Yeah, I'm really debating myself with this one. I don't even know if we can take on 3.5 right now. We can, however, take on 1.1 in Mojo. 75 faceoffs, not great, but 95 discipline. You won't be seeing this man in the box. Corey Perry, fourth line right wing grinder. I don't mind if I do. Yeah, it seems pretty much any draft where you have, even I would say like the top 10 picks, your team is... Typically very front heavy. Dmitry Kulikov. Is it bad to have two defensive defensemen together? It might be. But you want to hear something crazy? I'm going to do it anyway. So we have 6.8 million left. And we need how many draft picks? Three. So 
So we're actually in a decent spot now. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's definitely not a position where we can take pretty much anybody we want. We still got to be sort of specific. And Zach Parise looks like an optimal draft pick this late on. Still would have been clutch if we didn't have to take another player after him. The 91 face-offs is just too good. Radic Facts only has 78 face-offs. Not big on that. Maybe I will take Lars Eller after all. Fits into the cap quite nicely. Sets up decently for our final pick. Andrew Cogliano has a four-star defensive category, so he's actually pretty good defensively. He's also super fast. Nick Felino would have been all right, but unfortunately not a first rounder. Ah, uh, you know what? Cogliano had, or Nemesnikov. Playmaker though, I gotta go with Cogs. This is how the draft turned out. We also got the other Nylander at our 22nd pick. And that Hugo Olnefelt goaltender that for some reason, I don't know if it was this game or if it was NHL 22, but always seemed to get pretty good. We have to go through, edit the lines, also check to make sure that everyone is in fact a first round pick. I tend to mess that up quite a bit. Not specifically the first round pick thing, but just forgetting the draft stipulation. Okay, the chemistry looks all right offensively. McDavid, Tarasenko, and then we have Perron, Burkowski, Mojo, and Hartman. Kessel, Wemberg, Prize, Cogs, Eller, Perry. Now let's double check that everyone was taken in the first round. So far, so good. I think we're mint. Yeah. Defensively, they want to play Nurse and Burns together. What if I do that? Yeah, I'll take the plus five. Thanks, though. And once again, let's do our due diligence. Nice. Jake Ottinger, 26th overall. And Malcolm Subban, 24th. We're good. If I picked anyone else, I would be an idiot. So I'm going to say McDavid gets the most points with 88. I think him and Tarasenko are going to do well, but not crazy well. And quite frankly, I sort of like the makeup of this team. So I'll say that we get 46 wins. So as we do, let's sim up to the trade deadline and find out how your Toronto Maple Leafs are doing at that point in the season. We started off real hot and then we cooled down, but we're still doing well. Went on a pretty big losing skid there, but Bringing it back around again. The schedule looks so weird. It's very linear. First in the division. Come on, Leafs! We can do this! Also, Sim Engine, gonna need you to hurry up here. There's playoff football going on right now. And, you know, don't really want to miss that. For anybody that watches football, I am a Chargers fan, by the way. So, yep, don't want to talk about it. 46 wins is a bit of a stretch unless we have a phenomenal post-trade deadline, which I won't in my day... Maybe once or twice have I seen that. But maybe this will be the third. O'Reilly, Kreider, Lindholm. So yeah, decent trade deadline, but nothing crazy. Any trades to announce? Or shall we carry onward? There is one. Joachim Kamel, 2BC's legend. Second and a third. Going to Calgary in exchange for Lindholm and Gord. Not really going to mess with the Lions because we are doing well. I think that we got this. That's a good way to start. Five straight wins after the trade deadline. Don't you dare go on a losing skid now. Shootout loss. We take that. Take every single point we can get. Wow. Senators and Lightning are ahead. 40 wins. That's huge. Can we beat the Canadians? We can. Oh, yeah? 44 wins? I'll take that. We have the Tampa Bay Lightning in round number one. With 100 points, we finish third in the Atlantic. Honestly, I feel like that's going to be top five in the NHL. But let's see. No. No. We are top six, right there under the Flyers. The Senators take home the President's Trophy with 116. They had Zabinijad, Kane, and Ayafalo for Hagi, Chandler, and Everly. Okay, they have a pretty good team here. Allmark, backed up by Lankinen, OEL with Drysdale. Yeah, fair enough. The 18th place Colorado Avalanche sneak in. Poor Islanders and Hurricanes. The Rangers finished dead last with 70 points. They had Braden Point playing with Joseph and Slavkovsky. I mean, they're going to be good for the future. They have Katahat in net, Nuge. They also have Jack Quinn on their team. Eli Tolvanen. Yeah, they really said, we're going for the future. Holy crap, McDusty. 91 points. Tarasenko somehow only had 61 playing. What are you doing? Come on, Vladdy. Perron with 60. Hartman, 59. Maybe I will change the lines up a bit. Give McDavid something to work with here. Jakey O had a 909 save percentage, 266 JA. Not that great, honestly. But Malcolm Subban, on the other hand, a 921, 235. Varlamov led goalies with 45 dubs. He had a 914 save percentage. Markstrom with a 922. 
And 41 dubs on the year. He played great. 87 points from Quinn Hughes. That's a defensive season if I've ever seen one. 68 from Hedman. Doughty, 67. Over Chicken gets 108. And 54 tucks. Looks like he also won the Rocket Richard. Jason Robertson, 90 overall. Well deserved. 102 points. Leon, 96. Bergeron, 95. McDusty's on the first page, so that's good. A 91-point season from 84 overall Anton Lundell. Let's do this thing. A no-sweep in the first round. You heard it here first. It's a good way to start. Okay? I was right. Can we 4-1 them, though? We do. Buffalo Sabres are our next opponent. That means a lot of series must have ended really early. Sim the first four games again. I don't know if we won that other one. Is it 2-2 or 3-1? It is 2-2. I have a feeling this is going to 7. Let's see. Win and an L. What can I say? Let's get it done, Leafs. We are the Toronto Maple Leafs and we are in a game 7. So I don't like our chances here, but just maybe we can pulse the rabbit out of the hat. I don't know where that came from. That was so random. We're being outshot big time here. Giving them a power play. Corey Perry's gonna score on Vamelka on the man advantage. We're kind of bringing it back here, but yeah, we're definitely getting outplayed big time. Zucker scores, regaining the one goal lead for Buffalo. Another power play for Toronto, and Buffalo kills that one. Oh dear. That's not good. Ranton and Barry's one. We give them another power play. Just give them the game, why don't you? Okay, we have a chance. Perron scores. 50 seconds. No, we can't get it done. Who's gonna be the Stanley Cup champion? It is the Colorado Avalanche. Wait, hold on. Aren't they the team that made it in at 18th or whatever? Why does that always happen? Also, I just realized I forgot to change the lines, but Tarasenko had the most points on the team, so... Maybe I'm not that upset about it. McDavid and Burakovsky and Jones all had 10. Wow, so our team did very well. Can't blame Jake, 934, 227. He shut it down. Kachetkov, a 930, 208. And then Saros, 931. These two played phenomenal. I want to know who Quinn Hughes is paired with. They must have put up a few points. Is it Pulock? Why are they doing so? Like 28 points? After an 87-point regular season, Tara Vinen gets 22 points. Hurdle with 21. Probably won the Conn Smythe. Well, it could be Kachekov. Maybe. Let's find out, shall we? We already know that. Individual. OV. OV. Quinn Hughes gets the Norris and the Lady Bang. Pelletier? With the Calder? Hurdle did get the Conn Smythe. I guess he kind of deserves it, but honestly, I think Kachekov. Deserves a little bit more. Vesna and the Jennings go to Markstrom. Tanev, congrats. Dubois gets the Jack Adams. Selkie to Barkov. And then Ovi gets the Ted Lindsay and the Rocky Richard. What a year from that guy. Playoff tree. Let's see. So all the first rounds. Yeah. They only went to six. Not one single series went to seven. In fact, in the entire playoffs, only two series went to seven and we were one of them. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. I will see you soon.